<clears throat> wow, wow, wow. Look what the wild pigs dragged in. So, I know you don't know my name. I know you know Carlson. I know you also know the barber, Dr. Barber. I know you know the doctor, 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 and the dentist, doctor, dentist, MD, Carl MD. Now me, I'm your life coach, okay? We've never met. Dr. Life Coach, nice to meet you. So we gonna get into some real topics, all right? So before, I need to put, to put your big kid pants on because we get into some subjects. And it's gonna help you, it's gonna help your life. All right? <clears throat> So I hope your day's been been going well, been been amazing, you know. You're relaxing, taking care of yourself. Cause we're gonna talk a little bit about that too. Now, first up, did you hit that like button? Did you hit that subscribe? Some of y'all be reoccurring, but y'all ain't subscribed. And what for? You know, if you read the bio on my YouTube channel, it says you get a Lamborghini if you subscribe. It'll be in your mailbox. Precisely uh, 7 to 38 business years. Yeah. So hit that like button and subscribe. Right? Now let's get into this. Number one, I got me notes over here. I went and Googled free notepad online. So, yeah. Social media. Let's talk about that, shall we? So, social media. That's one of the big runarounds for the generation. I remember way back when, you know, the bubonic plague area. I mean, uh, era. Bubonic plague era, black plague, all that, all that stuff. You know, you had to messenger pigeons. You had horses. You had to write by mail. You wanted to hang out with your buddies. You had to walk up to their crib, right? Social media has come a long way. We got AI now. I literally saw all the three last presidents playing Minecraft together on a YouTube channel. It was amazing. But it's AI. That's dangerous. So, let me take these off. Let's get real personal. What are you looking at? What is you looking at? Huh? I'm just playing. Now, social media. Look, here's some advice. Learn when to separate social media from your real life. One and the other. Two different entities. A lot of the stuff on social media isn't actually real in the context of reality. It's all highlights of people's lives. It's all highlights of people's thoughts that they probably don't even feel like in, the, in five minutes from then. You ever tweet something and then you look at the tweet five minutes later and you're like, Who the hell tweeted this? That ain't me. I'm a whole different person now. Because you was tweeting through emotion. You was tweeting through a temporary little situation that you could go through with alone. You probably cut somebody out, so now it's on the internet forever. You didn't cut somebody out, and you were just feeling the fleet of moment. You was probably mad you lost your video game. You was probably mad you lost that Fall Guys. You lost that Lego Fortnite, and now you took Twitter. Now you hate, you know what I'm saying? Cut that out. Deal with your emotions by yourself. Or with the friend, but internet ain't really the best place, you know? Unless you really be feeling like that all the time, then go ahead, cause it is reality. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or is it, or if it's venting, that's good. You can, you can vent however you choose to vent. That's real. But if it's something that's fleeting and you know you don't agree with it, leave it to yourself, cause you might not be able to take it back. Now, I got, you know, I got a lot of stuff going on here on the notes. So let's, uh, how to properly do information research. Now, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all don't know how to do research. For example, you see somebody tweet something and they probably someone in their bedroom who be playing Fortnite all day. So where is the accuracy? Where is the factuality? Where is the information? Where is where is all of that? Hmm? Where's the st statistics? They have none. So just because they say it with confidence, you buy into it and you believe it. And now you running off and you going on a hate train and you're trying to cancel somebody. And then when someone else tells you, hey, that ain't, that ain't real and you look into it, finally, 
You already done sent them tweets out. You already done sent them Instagram comments out. Do your research first. Why are you following on the hate train? Are you part of the sheep? Are you part of the, part of the train? Or are you the conductor? All right. You know what I'm saying? This will help you far. Far along your journey. Yeah. So, how to do research? I, personally, you know, uh, I go to websites. If I want to look at a blog, per se, or look at uh, some stats or something that has to do with numbers or even research, I make sure it says a .gov or .edu at the end, after the end, because those are usually informational based and the statistics are usually open source data so they can see where you can see where they cite their sources and all and all that blogs is a little bit iffy you have to make sure you look for a few things see if it has bias so let's say there's statistics right this community against this community and they're trying to talk about which community has more uh, negativity or violence or or uh, substance control that they be selling in the market or something. something. And it seems like the numbers is way into one side specifically and the words are one side specifically. That's bias. That's bias. Then look at the website name. Sometimes they just tell them themselves. Let's say they, they only like cows and they don't like uh, buffalo. Cowsonly.com and they talking about buffalo. Um, I thought you was about cows. It's biased. Where are these stats from? Do they cite their sources? If you highlight and then click, click follow link or copy link address, post that, paste that, go over there, and it's just some it's some random Tumblr post. It ain't even a .edu, .gov, or nothing. It's just from a random person in their bedroom. Can you believe that? Do your research properly, okay? Do your research properly. Now, that goes into my next one, you know. TikTok. A lot of y'all, and I mean a lot of y'all, and I can tell who it is just by the way y'all comment when there's something you see on the internet or a certain type of video or a certain type of picture, you take a whole nar narrative and you run with it. Stop believing, that, believing everything you see on TikTok, okay? I'm talking to you, little nigga. I'm talking to you. Nah, -uh, open your eyes. It ain't your bedtime yet. I'm still talking. Undivided attention. This will help, help you. This will help you on your way. <laughs> now. Now. Next up. I mean, as I was saying. Not next up just yet. But TikTok. A lot of people be following stuff they see on TikTok. Now. I need y'all to pay attention to this. Because I'm about to spill the beans. Very important. Remember how... All of us, or the majority, or a lot of us, be making fun of the boomers and the old people, as we call them, the old farts or old heads, for believing everything they see on Facebook. They look at a meme and they think the meme is real. They don't know what's a joke from what's not a joke. They see a post and it has a few, it looks, it's, it's been created to look like an actual document or an actual news outlet, and we believe it. I mean, they believe it. A lot of us. Not me though, but a lot of, I'm, you know, I'm trying to just act familiarity with it. But a lot of the, the generation of younger people, y'all ain't no different from the old heads. They believe in what they see on Facebook. You believe in what you see on TikTok. Huh? Huh? And I can tell when the TikTok is BS, you know. For example, I, I saw this one video. They was trying to talk about some politicalness, right? Is that Harley? I need me one of them. That look good with the leather jacket. Anyways, got Ghost Rider running down the street. Now, I saw a video of someone talking about something with political, you know, the political world. And then they started making some weird mumbo jumbo comparisons and connections. Just because something had the word this in it, and they just found in the broad general standpoint, the, the whole, the whole information they just pulled and they just watched. They took one thing they saw that could connect similarly. So if I see a, a, a picture of a peach, right? Like the fruit, the peach. Let's just say, uh, no, let's say I'm at a museum, right? And there's one peach sitting on a table and I come home after a long day at the museum and I'm like, yeah, 
I, I remember I was at home and then I went to the museum and I was talking about how the peach market is failing. And there was a there was a, a peach on the table. And the way that symbolized there was one singular peach left in the world. Nigga, what? What are you talking about? No, somebody just stopped eating their food. They placed it on the table. So you made all that connections. We in the peach shortage just because you saw one on the table and it symbolized singularity. What? Give me your break. So that's how y'all be. Just because someone makes a connection, it don't mean it's actually connected. We had a trend like that a long time ago, the MLG trend. I know y'all remember that. Anything with a triangle, you know what it was. Anything with three three sides, it'll be like a triangle, three sides. It's the third year of the month. That make no sense at all. Or the third month of the year. That's three. That's three. What is that equal? You know what I'm saying? So stop believing everything you see on TikTok, okay? Comment down below in they TikToks where your source is at, huh? Because nine times out of ten, they'll be like, oh, I just saw from another video. Oh, I just read about it. Where did you read about it? Uh, somewhere I don't remember. You got to remember. Get on them. Press them. Press them. Let's put the glasses back on, you know. Ah. Now listen up, okay? Next up. We talking about avoiding drama and internet beef. How many of y'all raise your hands right now if you ever seen somebody beefing with a kid who plays Roblox online? I've seen it. And the kid be going crazy. Twitter fingers talk throwing all the insults. And then they look in the person's bio and they see Rip Mom. It's over. Don't ever put Rip, R.I.P. anybody in your bio. It's free game. It's a free game. It don't matter. Oh, you don't like my opinions? <laughs> I see your mom in your bio. Time to bring her up. Oh, rip my chihuahua uh, baked beans. Oh, <laughs> your chihuahua baked beans just passed away. <laughs> free game. But anyways, getting back to my point. Why are you wasting your time typing? You're doing this. And then you forget what's going on around you. You be walking into a pole, somebody talking to you, you don't know what they're saying, so you got to say, huh, the, for the three, third time, 33rd time. Or you might just leave your food out in the fly, flying your food. Now you got to throw it all away because you was paying attention to somebody you don't even know who's probably like two years old who got Twitter. Hmm? Is it that serious? A ask yourself this question so you can help help yourself move on. Am I going to remember this person or this conversation next week or in the next few days? If the answer is no, and I mean, you know, you don't try to remember it. If it just don't come to your brain, like, you know, it just don't come to your brain. Then it ain't important. Or if you, you see a TikTok you don't like and you leave a hate comment. Ah, this was, this was ass. Ah. And then you scroll and that's it. You never see him again. 30 second video. You did all this. And then you started roasting people in the comments. They roast you back. You roast them back. You, roast, you check your notification. They reply. I'm going to reply. They reply. I'm going to reply. The video was 30 seconds. Now you took a 30 second video and turned it into 30 minutes of your life. Now you just don't waste it. You know what I'm doing in 30, 30 minutes? <laughs> Get into the moolah. Get into the cheese. And you could be too. If you just save your time. So internet beef and all that internet drama, I don't do that. You know, I'm a chill guy. I'm naturally chill. Let's say uh, there's, there's some ASMR beef in the community. Someone just don't like my video. They don't like the doctor videos or something. They say it's unrealistic. Um, duh, nigga. It's a role play. I'm going to just be like, hi. I ain't even going to respond. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you ain't my enemy. I don't know you. You don't know me. Make your money. Make your cheese. And I'll make money. I'm probably going to forget about you when I load up this League of Legends or load up this uh, Fortnite. You know, they got the Lego mode. You know, I pull up, you know, I pull up to that. Anytime I do an emote, why does my character, why do the people in my village always run up to me? I be start emoting and dancing 30 feet away. And they just come over and run over to me and join in. They got didn't invite you. Anyways, back on topic. If you relate to the Lego Fortnite thing I just said, leave it in the comments below. But yeah, you know, all the internet beef and it's childish. Like, I remember I be seeing rappers, right? 
rappers be beefing online and they be getting on live with each other. What? If I'm beefing with someone, I'm not gonna want to talk to them or leave and look at them. And y'all hopping on each other's lives, giving each other views. That is weird. Cause you know you gotta text them to get on the live, right? Or you gotta type to them. Hey, let me join, bro. Let me join. Hey, hey, add me, add me. What? Huh? You asking for permission from the nigga you beefing with? They already won. If you got you asking them for permission, you know. Add me, add me, and then they get on live and they start talking to each other. And the person lets it keep going. Whoever added them lets it happen, cause you can just block them or kick them out. But they want them there. They want to hear what they gotta say. No, nah, you suck. You suck. Hold on. Let me get my gun. Why is he, Why are you? Why are you holding your gun for ran, your, your your phone for ransom? You're not pointing your gun at the at the person. You're pointing it at your phone. You see what this? You see how how childish you look? That's like think about how I do ASMR, right? And I be doing makeup to the camera like this. That's what they doing with guns. Hey, this was this what it looked like. You suck. Your mama ain't nothing. Oh, I see red chihuahua in your bio. F your chihuahua, bro. You at home just doing that all day. Give me a break. Anyways, next up on the list. Stop believing everything you see on the internet, okay? Tell me why I didn't walk. I was outside one day, right? I mean, rarely, whenever that happens, somebody gonna come up to me talk about the government out to get them. Huh? This happened like a couple years ago. The government had to get them. I said, okay. I tried to indulge and try to have a conversation, you know, be a people person. Why? Them Obama phones. He trying to tap them. Huh? You think one man who probably don't even know how that technology worked that well, tapping on everybody's phone that haven't even been activated yet, and he listening to you? My name, I'm not trying to be mean, but you can't even afford a stick of gum. What he got to do with you, my boy? You know what I'm saying? That's tough. That is. So that's just a loose example. So don't believe in everything you see on the internet. Because there's a lot of AIs going around. There's a lot of AI created stuff. And they be, this is on a serious note, by the way. They be making the worst stuff, the worst news of somebody, and they make it look real. It happens to your favorite creators. It may happen to you, your mommy, your daddy, your uncle, your neighbor across the street who only waters their lawn at 3 a.m. on a Wednesday. It may happen to anybody. They take their voice, they take their face, they take their likeness, they apply it, and half the time you can't even sue them. You might not have the money to sue them, you just can't. So, stop believing hearsay, okay? If the mob say something to you, don't believe it until you investigate it yourself and have concrete evidence of proof. A lot of y'all friendships or relationships or families be getting broken up because of that. You hear, he was talking trash about you, gang. You gonna let him talk trash? What he say? He said you a you a dick. First of all, that came out of your mouth. You calling me that? I ain't hear nothing from them. That came out of your mouth. So if I go talk to them and they ain't say none of that, or if I see text messages and none of that was said, you said that you you added some extra words in there. They only said I, I look like a three legged turkey. You added the b word. They ain't say none of that. So now who's really the up? See what I'm saying? Never believe somebody, somebody just coming out of the blue moon and trying to, trying to up on you. You know, stay ten toes and fingers. And if you ain't got ten of those, just stay whatever's ten, okay? Put a pencil right here if you ain't got a finger. Put a, put a uh, Vienna sausage on your, on your foot if you ain't got a toe. Okay, just make it ten. Next up. Prioritize knowledge and expand your social skills. Now, this could be used from... The Rizzler Academy video. I know you've seen the Riz Academy. That's that's a professor Riz, and we, me and him go way back. You know, me and him go way back in the multiverse. So that man is very social when it comes to the Rizness and, and how to how to operate on that Riz level. That you know that that level. Whatever all that means, I don't even really know what it means. But um, excuse my yapping. But uh, yeah. Expand your social skills, expand your knowledge, because what I do, personally, I've always done this, has been a good habit of mine. Whenever I don't know a word, if I'm watching a TV show, if I'm listening to a podcast, someone's talking to me, 
whenever I have time, I'll look it up. I'll Google it instantly. I got to know what you're saying because you got, probably could have called me all types of names. I don't even know. Right. Like, like, what is a cephalopod? Did you just say I'm a cephalopod? And I'll have to look it up. Oh, you was talking about them things from millions of years ago. OK, my bad. So, uh, if you expand your communication and your knowledge on words, oh, you're going to be up there. Read your books. Read your, read whatever. Just read, 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 read. Look up whatever you don't know. Highlight a sentence that's structured, structured in a way you just don't get. Like analogies, for example. Or metaphors or similes. All these tricky little tricks of words and statements. Go ahead look into them. Learn yourself some. You know what I'm saying? and social skills it's fine if you're an introvert because i am myself you may not think i am but <laughs> you know i i brushed up on my little video on my video uh day so i know how to do a little something some extra for the camera but when i'm in person i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna look like a meat meat fish from spongebob in the background just standing like this if you ever see me i probably gonna look like that i'm not mean i'm not mad but I'm an introvert. But yeah, anyways, just learn how to speak and learn how to phrase your words or learn how to articulate yourself so you can communicate. It ain't really got to have, have anything to do with conversation. Just know how to speak for yourself. Just know how to articulate your words and pronounce and expand on your dialogue. Because you going to come up if you don't know what you're talking about half the time, but you're using very articulate word wording and diction. You're going to look like you made out a million bucks. You a spokesperson. I'm going to give you an example right now. And you say with confidence too. You know when the 5 plus 4 equals 3? <laughs> Indubitably. <laughs> yes, no. I did not learn that. Yesterday's night when the shark ate. No, 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 no. Don't interrupt me, please. Let me finish. When the shark ate over the moon when they jumped the fence. Yes, I did go there. That is absolutely correct. It's very profound. <laughs> I beg your pardon? What was that? No. I don't believe crocodiles exist. You know why? You see that gazelle over there? It told me so. It told me, hey, never more are your nights going to be like this. They're going to be the same. Different, but the same. You see how what I said made absolutely no sense? But because I have good vocabulary... And I know how to structure the vocabulary and use my commas. It works. And it can for you too. Okay. Next up, this might be last. Know when to take breaks. Now, actually, I'm going to do one more at this, but know when to take some breaks, okay? You got to know when to take a good and long and healthy break. Because if you're overworking yourself at your job, or are you over hanging out? Because that is a real thing. You can over socialize. You need to recharge at some point, even if you're an extrovert. However you can, you need to set aside a day for yourself. Not not a few minutes, not a few hours, a whole day. You need to set a day aside for yourself. A mental health day. You know, take a little bath, a shower, whatever it is. Eat some food. Chill with yourself. Think a bit. Maybe set an hour aside to just think and ponder about yourself. And then, you know. See where it takes you the next day. You might feel a lot lighter. You might might feel a lot uh, clearer mentally. And it will do a lot good for you. And if you need a longer time frame, by all means do so. I used to do it like every month. No, not every month. I meant every year I used to do breaks once a month. Wait. Nigga, I don't even know what I'm saying. I used to take a whole month break. That's what I'm trying to say. Dang. Every year. So it could be April, May, whatever the month is, I would take one month for myself. I would isolate. I would do what I got to do because it works for me. It may not work for you. You might not be able to do it that long. You could do a week, a day, <clears throat> whatever you want. And that's how I worked on myself, you know, and I'm still doing that to this day. I'm still working on myself. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's beneficial. I would say it's beneficial. So the last thing. <clears throat> You need to learn how to subscribe, okay? This will benefit your life in numerous ways. Because instead of seeing my videos one time and they just disappear for a while because you're not subscribed, it's not in your recommended. You could be laughing every night. You could be sleeping every night. 
you can be intrigued by the amazing details and sounds of the videos. You know, you can get all the information, all the details that you need to, to carry on your day if you subscribe to Carl ASMR. And you, you hit the like button too. Um, I don't ask for much, so. more than you think. You know, it's probably a Honda. But yeah, if you subscribe, um, your life's going to get 10% better. Trust me right now. Go ahead, look in the comments of the therapy videos. Go ahead, look in the comments of the funny videos, of the Riz videos. You know how many people learn how to get an A plus because they Riz, they teach you up? I don't know the stats and it's probably zero, but look, they, at least they tried. All because of the video. So subscribe. I'm not holding you up to gunpoint or nothing. It's free. So. That'll be said and done. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this session. You know. You're going to do great things in life. You're going to go far. You're going to take yourself there. You're going to see two roads. One is left and one is right. And it don't matter which one you take because they both gonna go like this and meet right back in the middle. So all I'm trying to say is no matter what path you take, you're gonna be on success. You're gonna be on success. Yeah. Indubitably, without indeed, have yourself a great night and have yourself a profound evening. Okay? And with that being said, sleep well. I'll see you when I see you.